Welcome to Module 3, Part 5. In this part, I will go over a few issues with the central vowels and diphthongs in English. Make sure to read the book carefully as well as the notes because I won't be going over every detail that you are expected to know from the slides and from the textbook. Review the information provided in this slide carefully. Most of this information was covered previously in this module. One way to remember that the schwa is the unstressed version of the uh sound is that schwa is the phoneme that we all want to be because it's never stressed. Again, review the information provided on this slide carefully. Most of this information was covered previously in this module. We've already reviewed the transcription of the five rhotic diphthongs. You probably also have gathered by now that there are some differences in the style of IPA transcription in different publications or for different people. We are going to follow the version used in your textbook as much as possible. However, there is an alternative transcription for the rhotic diphthongs that you should be familiar with because it is commonly used on many standardized clinical tests. In this version, the rhotic diphthongs are transcribed with the schwa r in the second half instead of r. Note that we will continue to use the versions marked hours in the slide with the r in the second half, but you should recognize that the ones marked other in the slide with the schwa r in the second half are equivalent if you should see them later. Pause the recording here and complete exercises 4.11 through 4.14 before continuing. Check your answers in the back of the book to make sure you understand, and if you still need to clear up anything, review the reading or the preceding recording, or post a question on the discussion board. Again, review the information provided on this slide carefully. Most of this information was also covered previously in this module. Once again, review the information provided on this slide carefully. Most of this information was covered previously in this module. Pause the recording here and complete exercises 4.15 through 4.17 before continuing. Check your answers in the back of the book to make sure you understand, and if you still need to clear anything up, review the reading or the preceding recording or post a question on the discussion board. Now we have reviewed all of the vowels of English. You should be ready to complete review exercises A through L at the end of the chapter at this time. You should do these exercises before completing your assigned homework in order to check your understanding and accuracy. As before, check your answers in the back of the book to make sure you understand, and if you still need to clear anything up, review the reading in the textbook or the preceding recordings, or post a question on the discussion board. This is the end of Module 3.